All right, you fucking washed up rockers, let's get it. It's showtime. What's up? Where the fuck is he, David? I don't fucking know. I thought it was a deal. Well, what the hell are we gonna do? I'm saying is maybe he was with someone and maybe he missed the fucking train. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the guy disappears in coffee shops for hours anyway. I, I don't know. It's just, he's never done anything like this. Never. You've called him. I've called him. You've texted him. I've texted him. I mean, what more can you do? <laughs> I'm not doing the vocals. You're not doing the vocals. We gotta tell people. I, I, we gotta drop off, I guess. I don't know. He, he's never done anything like this. I don't know what to do. So what? Cancel the show? Cancel the tour, he's not here. Cancel another tour? Just screw the band over even more? Dig us further in a hole for what? How else are we gonna fucking get home? He's got all the fucking flight details. Would it be easier to just go back to the station and look for him? Tell the cops? I don't know. I don't see a way that we can play. We can't just leave him here, wherever the fuck he is. Fucking this is something, we just gotta do something. We can't just sit here. Perhaps now you understand. 
or maybe you did from the beginning. In that case, I thank you for sticking around and keeping me company, dear reader. It isn't often one gets to tell his story to such an attentive bunch. <laughs> no, not often at all in my case. But it's not so bad, here, or wherever here may be. I'll leave that for you to decide. For what more could an old poet want than some peace and quiet to work his prose? Oh, I must say it is plenty quiet here. Though, I wouldn't call it peace. But who wants to hear the grumblings of an old artisan, technician, mechanic maker? Forgive me, what's that? My poems. Indeed, you are quite right. There are many more. In fact, halls and halls and records upon records. Hmm? You would like to hear another? to spoil the mystery. But this is not the first poem you've read by my hand. It may come as a surprise to you, but it is true that you've seen my work quite often. Most every day, in fact. been to your earth many times. And you know me by many names. But I will refrain from saying too much, for I'm getting tired and so I must lay down. Yes. Yes, I believe I mentioned I had a date. Did I not? Yes, this date is the date we all keep. But do not fret, young reader, for I will be among you very soon. You may not recognize me, for I have been measured up for a brand new sheath, which I'm quite excited to try on. This being said, be sure to treat everything with care for the beggar on the street, the bat in the attic, or the weed growing in your driveway may very well be your old friend dropping in to say hello.